Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters, episode number four in our series as the USS Seawolf playing against the People's Republic of China. Single-handedly and really without ordinance at this point, we're <laughs> going to be left, going to have to resort to throwing rocks at the enemy ships to sink them as we have only five torpedoes left and then a whole bunch of mobile mm, something, no, mobile submarine simulator. Yeah, the M MO is just one word. So yeah, that's a little bit difficult um, for us to use to sink ships, but that's been the uh, request. Oh god, we actually encountered something way out here. Okay, all hands down. I mean, the good news is it's not shallow. Rig ship for ultra quiet. But the bad news is we're going very fast. The good news is we're doing that at pretty deep depth. And it's a little bit noisy out, so that hopefully our fast speed is not too much of a problem. The fact that we picked this up so quickly means that it probably is not a submarine. It's probably oh, Chengdu. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Two, Merchant. Nine five designated Sierra two. Con sonar Sierra one is classified as merchant. Oh, cool. Con sonar Sierra two is classified as submerged submarine. Very cool. That's only one torpedo for us, which is good. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as merchant. Oh, this Han is right next to us too. Come left two, two, three. We'll focus on that until she goes active. We're in good shape. Let's also come up to five hundred, so that we can just crash dive in the event of a launch, or a counter launch more likely. She's riding a little bit above us. I suspect we're just going to do a snapshot and go. Get out of the way. Let's wait a little bit longer. She's not doing anything with the active, so... Did ping us. Come left to one five one helm I. It could be the scan and shuffle thing I was talking about earlier. Come left to one three seven helm I. But when she wakes up, she's gonna see. <laughs> Be an in for an unpleasant surprise. Come left to one six six helm I. We're barely picking this thing up, so she might be pretty far out there. What's her? Yeah, she is pretty noisy, so she probably is pretty far out there. Con helm steady course. Con helm, steady course. Got her. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't have a towed array. This is gonna be a very. I mean, it doesn't matter if she's going flank speed or whatever. She's not gonna hear anything. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra two. All right. Con fire control weapon acquired. Con fire control weapon countermeasure homing. Come right to two five eight. So these are both not good 
for getting us. And on top of that, we're going to dive very low, very deep, I should say. Con, fire control, weapon coming. Passing 600 feet. Did we lose the wire? I guess we did. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Three, one, four. Designated Sierra, four. New contact. That does make it interesting. Passing 700 feet. <laughs> so this thing had to go a ways to get to her. Passing 800. We have to hope that she has the fuel to get to her. To get this thing. Although this looks good. And that's definitely a dead, dead Han. Pretty close to the surface, which is the good news. They might think of probably uh, abandon. Come left two, two, five, seven, helm I. Not even sure if these will get to us, but if um, yeah, if they do, we'll be too deep for them. The test step of this, I think, is sixteen hundred. So it's crazy. You can go sixteen hundred without even like that's the that's what's on the label for the manufacturer rebate or whatever. You know, like <laughs> that's guaranteed. And then, usually, you know, that means that it's probably rated for a little bit more than that. I think the rule of thumb in this game is even 50% more than that. Because the flight, I mean the Los Angeles class, any of the flights, are all rated for 950. And um, you can take them down to like 1300. And 950, you know, half of that is like 475. So, you can do the math. 13, 14, 25, I think is the, might actually be the, the real value you get. Anyways, we'll be way below those torpedoes. So I suspect that they'll just go right on over. Okay, cool. Leave combat. I should accomplish here. We have no <laughs> ordinance. I'm not even sure we have enough ordinance to, to uh, complete the mission. Oh no. So, what is the, uh, they're going from Shantou to the East China Sea, right? Unless they're going, this is, this is so challenging. That might be it right there. Uh, we're going to have to do some crazy stuff for this one. It's going to be very difficult. We have a lot of mosses. That's the, I guess, the good news. <laughs> it's just launch mosses everywhere. Hopefully it works. That's got to be it right there. Let's go intercept. What? A sustained blockade by naval forces and decisive inland raids by naval infantry has forced South China Sea to acquiesce to Chinese surrender terms. The Pentagon refused to comment on how this discouraging turn of events will affect ongoing operations in the region. A largely successful Chinese campaign may soon prove to be too much for the U.S. Navy to handle. A series of highly successful Chinese attacks on allied Mediterranean civilian ships is quickly draining the ability of the U.S. Navy to conduct operations in the region. This may prove fatal for the allied forces in the near future. Um, that's not good. Okay, well, we intercepted them, I think, pretty much in shallow-ish area. I mean, maybe not super shallow. Let's hope. What do we got? What do you got for me? You got super shallow. Well, keep us there because we want our tow to ray to work. We are kind of close to, 
but not quite. Like, bring us up to even like one, I don't know. Ugh, just wanna make sure that toad array stays deployed. Okay, S4, very faint, but we know what this is, a Chengdu. The merchant one. Ah, Chingu. Sierra one is classified as. Okay, here we go. This is the merchant one. What are you again? Con sonar new contact bearing three one eight designated Sierra five. Okay, that's the one we need to sink. What do we have here, merchant? Oh my gosh. Very quiet. Is it possible we misidentified this? Five is classified as submerged submarine. Fascinating. Is there really only one? Huh. Okay. Well, anyway, we have four torpedoes for four targets, which means we are not allowed to make any mistakes. We don't need to sink anything but the Dejong. I'm just glad, by the way, that we didn't fail the mission. I thought that based on that last little pop-up that we failed the mission, but we have been, like, killing it, man. In five days, in five days we have sank, what is it, like 14 warships? That's, like, gonna put a huge dampener on the... I mean, just look at, if you want, by comparison, look at the, uh, the... Ukraine Russia war How many uh, naval service fleet? So, I mean how many just naval elements in general has has Russia lost? I don't know the count, but I, I would imagine Maybe all told in the war. It's less than 20 and We sank pretty much that account in in less than a week Yeah, you're not actually the thing I'm interested in, but I do need to know. Oh God, we do not have a way of <laughs> of avoiding detection. <laughs> so we're gonna at least come right to that because we're like full. Of, we're just just showing our full side right now. That makes me nervous. We're just gonna have to be a little bit more careful with this one. One, we're gonna have to. Let our toad array do all the work while we face away from them. And we're just gonna have to let time also do the work. Come right to zero. Because even if we don't, I mean, I'd like to be perpendicular to the direction of travel so we get information faster. So that our T TWA, I don't even remember what that stands for, but I think that is the acronym. That basically it's the, the calculator machine that is able to use the information you get um, to identify, like, the. to, to compute the actual position and and um, velocity or I should say vector velocity vector of, of whatever you have so essentially this information and yeah, we're down to six which is a lot better and I'm not seeing any pings which means they're not active right now which is crazy Gone. which is awesome no. Steady course. okay take it back about the Chengdu and again the only one we really need to be worried about the Dejong. We could try to sing the Jongu because it's very close to us. Passing 100 feet. Oh my god. Too, 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 too shallow. I guess it doesn't matter that much. But that is a little bit too shallow. Alright, we got the Jongu dead to rights. I think we'll sing it first. That song is probably really close and will counter launch though. Damn. Shoot 
Aye, sir. Now, I think the mobile submarine simulators don't have a transit. Uh, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I would say this is with very low confidence, I would say. This might be true. These might glide out. They won't give you the, the transient launch noise. I'm not sure if that's true. We're about to find out, by the way, because that song is, as I expected, actually a lot closer. Okay, well, we might as well get to business here. Oh god, a new contact. Merchant, I hope. Yeah, thank god. Okay, well here we go. That one actually has to go for the song. The fact that she didn't hear it is fantastic. Okay, that one's going for the Jonggu. Well, we got our work cut out for us. Boy, do we. So that's still not going to go active right away, which means we have time to guide this towards the song. Con the other Chengdu... From Sierra five. Oh, well, that Con didn't take long. From Sierra five. Come right to zero five five helm I. Come right to one zero one helm I. Oh god. <laughs> Just to make everything worse. Good lord. Come right to one zero nine helm I. So this one is going to get it. And that's exactly why I choose to launch them in the direction of these ships, because it is good to do exactly like this. Chungo is going to get it. I could just take out the Dijong, but no. It's not what we want to do. I think we'll take out the Song next. And what we'll do is we'll confuse these guys with another one. Con, Helm, steady course. Shikan, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one, last bearing, two, nine, four, contact breaking up. This is so tight. <laughs> if we end up getting into the Zhang, well, so be it. It couldn't be helped. And we actually do need to launch another one over there anyway. Aye, sir. Scary. Very scary. Yeah, this is going to go for the Dijong. Because we need to kill it. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. That is what I'm hoping will happen with the Moss. We need to kill the Dijon before we can leave, you know, <laughs> just full stop before we can leave. Right two, one, three, three, helm I. So we're hoping that this t gets onto the Moss, just like that. Come left to 
zero nine three Helm I. Okay, got that one. Zero seven nine Helm I come left to zero six nine Helm I come left to zero seven four Helm I come right to zero nine two Helm I It's a moss, that's a moss, that's a moss. We got a lot of decoys in the water. I mean, thank God for mosses, right? Plenty more where that came from. Which is why I don't mind using them. At this point, already mission accomplished though. Make depth two, zero, <clears throat> zero feet, die by. So I shouldn't care about finishing off the song. It's like nice to do, but not important. On helm. Steady course. Oh god, it's coming right at that, but what is it gonna do afterwards? Come left to zero six seven helm con sonar. Oh, Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing two four two. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing three zero one. Contact faded. Passing 200 feet. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Yeah, no, no kidding. Con torpedo room, tube 7 ready. Con knuckle formed. Passing 300 feet. We would like to go back into our old noisemaker too. Just hoping that this thing doesn't have a whole lot of time left on it. <laughs> oh, so lucky. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Make turns for one. Five We're gonna go down to the ocean bottom. Try to get out of here. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. All right. We don't know what else is gonna happen. Weapons are nearby, so we can't leave. But we'll try to get out of here as quickly as possible. And maybe launch another moss just to Shoot two, seven. keep I people sure. guessing. <laughs> I'd love to see if this torpedo hits though. That's why I haven't done anything yet. As far as like leaving, uh, we're a little bit close. Come up a little bit. It's no good if we just end up dying because I'm hitting the bottom. So we'll just keep sending mosses every which way. <laughs> How about right at that one? Shoot two four. I sir. I think that barely makes it there. And now we have one more that we'll hold in our back pocket as an emergency. This might get him, but might not. It's so cool that Con, torpedo room, tube seven ready. My moss is what has de 
freaking destroyed my own moss. My ad cap was fooled by my own moss. I think. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. It means that is not going to be a successful launch. That's kind of funny. You wouldn't think. I didn't think that that was possible. Yeah, that's definitely mine. So that means it's way over. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And once it gets through, it doesn't detect the song. Oh. It does. They're they're just. This is so cool. They're depth charging my moss. And the song is getting picked up by the ad cap. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Give me the... There's so many mosses out here. Give me the ad cap. Oh, no. Well, it detected something, just not the right thing. This ad cap is... Has got a target. And it is correct. This is a target. It's just not a target that needs to be taken out. One that has already been taken out, one might say. Well, we'll go ahead and leave this combat. We got one. We didn't get the other two. Good to hear you intercept and destroy the enemy replenishment resources. Keep up the good work for their orders to be transmitted on the downlink. If it's not to return to Guam, then I, I mean, I might resign my command. Whew. Silver Star Medal to Commander Tortuga Power. For conspicuous gallery, gallantry and intrepidity in action against enemies of the United States. Commander Tortuga Power's inspiring initiative and unwavering devotion reflect great credit upon himself and uphold the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Fantastic. U.S. warships and submarines have taken up several new strategic positions, including somewhere on the East China Sea in response to significantly reduced Chinese naval activity. Sources close to the Pentagon say that the war has taken a heavy toll on enemy naval operations and that their supply lines continue to be heavily strained. Recent NATO gains at sea have decreased the numbers of warships needed to maintain control in several regions. Many vessels from these regions have rapidly been assigned to other duties within the region. So actually, I was thinking about this, and it gets, I guess it does make sense that um, it could make sense that we are like the sole effort with surface launched anti um, ship missiles. You know, that's such a threat. It would be hard for the United States Navy to, to get close, and maybe it will rely on just submarines. You know, all right, we got the replenishment order. That's what we've been waiting for. Let's get out of here. Oh my God, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Well, I'm not even gonna load the tubes with our stuff because I'd rather those be loaded automatically. Boy, what do we got? Hopefully this isn't the, I think we were kind of caught in an island, so let's all hand man that stations. Ship for ultra quiet. Well, not bad. Come right to one, two, zero. Helm I. It's probably a submarine. We'll have one shot at it. Con sonar new contact bearing zero five three designated Sierra one. Not super noisy. This might be um, a sign that this is a surface ship because we're having very vis poor visibility. And that might be related to the fact that there's a, a pretty strong layer. One, zero, one, it looks like it is... Two. What? Or we're up against an alpha? Con sonar, Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. My goodness. That was unexpected. Something in drift. Oh, cool. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as biologic. Con 
on sonar. Sierra 2 is classified as biologic. We got two biologics and, a, and an alpha. <laughs> what a mission. <laughs> All right, if she goes with her actives right now, we're just dead. We wouldn't be dead. I, I guess we would not be. We would be completely fine. Make depth five zero zero feet. Die by. She's gonna know. I just want to. You know what? No, we want to. I think we. This. This is all about getting close. Zero six one. I take it all back. We're going in. Sometimes, just like I've learned from the hunt for Red October. Sometimes you have to close the gap before the safety measures can deactivate. I've been told it only works once, but has anybody ever even tried it twice? Maybe it still works twice. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Doesn't matter. Get me there. Con maneuvering. Making turns for. Make turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering. Making turns for two zero knots. Then we'll rig for silent. In fact, we gotta just go now, huh? Rig ship for ultra quiet. Make turns for zero. Make turns for five. Rig ship for ultra quiet. We might not need it. Con sonar regained contact on. Come right to zero six one helm I. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Just gotta do this just right. Stain her baffles is all we need to do. Come left to zero zero five helm I. And because I'm dog legging to the right, I should be going to the left. Pretty simple. She'll probably go active and detect us, but it if not, if even for a second she doesn't detect us, then that would probably be game over. She'll launch in the wrong direction. Although, I think we're just going to be A-OK. -okay. Come left to zero, three, one, hell I think I we got this. Some days you just get lucky. From Sierra, oh. One. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. She launched in the wrong direction. Thank God. Helm, steady course. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing zero, three, one. Not every day you get to see an alpha. I thought this was supposed to happen only after there's a news pop up about how the Russians have gotten more involved. 
Weapon acquired. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, zero. Three, one. Contact breaking up. Yeah, and she was at, you know, like 500 feet or so. So not necessarily going to get out of that one. Doesn't look like their torpedo is anywhere near us though, so I'm not even going to, I'm going to halt my descent. Doesn't look like it's possible. They may not have even gone active. Well, that was our last torpedo, so I very, very much hope that we don't run into anything else on the way home. But good job team, good job crew. Fantastic job taking down an Alpha. Sea Wolf reigns supreme. But yeah, I think we've done enough for this episode. Time is, has run short, so the plan now will be for me to head back, hopefully without any uh, further interruption. And we'll get there and do the reload in the next video. For now, thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.